with promises to cover 40 languages soon, Google Bot, which is the most powerful language model, now supports more than 180 nations and adds support to Japanese and also Korean, which enables new developments including advanced math, reasoning, and coding abilities. What's going on, everyone? In today's session, we rubbernecked some of the most excellent features of the latest AI Google Bot. But before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel. And to stay notified for further updates, do click the bell icon. Also, if you're interested in any of the Edureka training courses, do check out the link given in the description below. Let's get ahead. At the Google I.O. event, Google revealed some of the features that could be available in future versions of BART. With improved coding, math reasoning, and skills, BART is powered by Google's Palm 2, the new super powerful model of Google, which is fascinating. Google also has expanded access to its chatbot BART over to 180 countries, which eliminated the waitlist requirement for access, which is extraordinary. Additionally, Google has rolled out several new features to BART as part of its effort to dominate the AI chatbot market. To expand its reach, BART is now available in Japanese and also Korean, with plans to support 40 more languages in the near future. Google BART has come up with the most amazing features that will surprise you, as the ability for users to include images in their prompts in the combination with Google Lens and BART. Additionally, BART will be integrated with other Google apps such as Docs, Drive, Gmail, and Maps, any place, anytime. In collaboration with Adobe Firefly, BART can also generate images. That's just not it. Google also has showcased how Google search and knowledge graph data can make BART more visual and useful. You'll now be able to ask it things like, what are some of the must-see insights in New Orleans? And in addition to text, you will get a helpful response along with rich visuals to give a much better sense of what you're exploring. Moreover, Google demonstrates how BART has improved its scoring with the help of sourced citations. Starting next week, Google will make citations even more precise. If BART brings in a block of code or cites other content, just click the annotation and BART will underline those parts of the response and link to the source. Talking about the export button, Google has added the ability to export and run code with its partner Riplet, starting with Python. Google also added dark theme on BART, giving you the ability to easily switch BART's appearance between a light background with a dark text to a dark background with a light text. You can switch manually or it can detect your operating system's default setting. Cool, right? BART with Adobe Firefly can now help you make images. Google said Adobe's Firefly, Adobe's family of creative generative AI models, which is now integrated into Google BART to allow you to easily and quickly turn your own creative ideas into high quality images which you can edit further or add to your designs. Google has also integrated Google Lens features directly into BART. Google said that you can now upload a photo and prompt BART to write a funny caption about these two. Using Google Lens, BART will analyze the photo and draft a few creative captions all within seconds. So these are some of the basic insights about Google BART. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please hit the like button and to stay notified for further updates, do click the bell icon. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos on Google Bot, and like always, wish you happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist, and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!